Family Promise is a network of churches that come together and host homeless families with children in the greater Des Moines area. Each church hosts these families for one week at a time and collectively we help those families to reduce their overhead expenses for a brief period in their lives and help them to get back on track uh, to regain the housing that they lost under a variety of different circumstances and to get on with their lives. And the structure behind me, the gathering house, is where the families are housed during our hosting week. One of the things when uh, we come over here to help set up for Family Promise is to clean the bathrooms. It involves cleaning the sinks and the toilets and the floors each time we come. We have to make sure the kitchen's in good order. So we always have to clean out the refrigerator. Usually it's been left fairly clean, but we always have to check dates, throw things out that are old, put in fresh stuff. Uh, we make sure the stove is clean, wash the dishes, empty the dishwasher or fill it, whatever it has to be, and set out the food that, um, the staple food that will stay here at the house. And we put clean sheets on the beds, blankets, pillows for each bedroom before the people come so the beds are all made up for them. There's a, the dozen or so churches involved, there's nobody that offers facilities better than we do at the gathering house in terms of offering the family some measure of privacy and a nice bedroom to stay in. And mostly my responsibilities, I'm the vacuuming technician specialist and I just uh, try to get the place ready for other people to come and enjoy it and do the more of the hands-on work. One of the jobs that I enjoy the most is driving the van. Uh, it's a 14-passenger van. We provide transportation to and from the day center, uh, typically at 7 o'clock in the morning and at 5 o'clock in the evening, where they receive uh, uh, services during the week, uh, including um, uh, counseling and uh, whatever uh, is helpful to them in uh, regaining their footing, uh, whether it be applications for jobs, uh, creating a resume, uh, providing additional educational assistance, uh, whatever it takes. And uh, for each family, that's different. There are many opportunities throughout the week for families to provide meals uh, for uh, our uh, guest families. Uh, we provide the list of uh, suggested uh, components of those meals and uh, we ask that a family sign up and uh, provide the meals and then we have uh, families that will provide the hospitality and actually serve the meals uh, to our guest families. I, I sign up to host the dinners um, and it's a simple job. You are here for a few hours that evening um, and you get the dinner served. Somebody else prepares it, so you don't have to do that. And um, you sit with the families and have dinner, um, and then you get some time to spend with them. Um, sometimes when there's kids, you can read a book or go outside and play in the summer. So being an overnight host is really just about being here uh, during the evening and early morning hours uh, so that the guests can get rest and uh, that this is a safe and secure place. Um, usually begins by coming in at 8 or 9 o'clock in the evening. The other faith hosts have been spending the evening with them, uh, eating and playing games usually with the kids. And when I come in, it's uh, usually uh, things are winding down. So these are the accommodations for the overnight ho host. The beds are comfortable. I usually bring my sleeping bag and my own pillow um, and a toothbrush and some pajamas. And uh, we'll come here in the evening and then in the morning I usually go home. Um, and in plenty of time to clean up and get to work on time. Oh yeah, and then we would come back and we kind of do everything again, clean everything up, clean out the refrigerator, so it's clean for the next group of people that come in. What this means to me is really uh, just being around families who are working really hard to get their lives on track. They usually are in the process of gaining jobs or they have a job and just are trying to get enough money and find a place to live. They're families with children, and so they're trying to stay together. And so anything that we can do to help them stay together as they're going through this transition um, is really helpful to them, and it really means a lot to us at Faith, and it means a lot to me as well. The Metro Des Moines area does not have for homeless families to stay together. And uh, if all these churches that pitch in can host these families from, uh, for a week and provide them uh, 
good meals and hospitality, um, and they're able to stay together, I think it's just terrific. As Christians, we need to be God's hands and feet, and I feel this is a way to help others who uh, I feel really sad when I think of people that do not have a home, and it gives me great joy to help them. One time when I was uh, subbing with Des Moines, um, several kids in the class, obviously, and I, I recognize, I mean, I knew, obviously I knew them. Um, I came over here to host one night when, before the fa when the families were coming for dinner, and who comes in but one of the little girls that was in my sixth grade class in West Des Moines. And I was just shocked because when I was over there something I would never know that there were any homeless kids in my class. And so the kids that are seeing this video might realize that there are kids in their classes that do not have a home. Uh, Matthew 25 tells us that uh, our Lord says that as we should serve others, and when we serve others, we serve our Lord. And these are people who have lived in uh, situations where they've lived in cars, they've lived in various uh, shelters, but they have no other place to go. And so when we do that, we're actually serving our Lord. And it's important to me that when I see uh, the uh, various guests we have, I want to see Christ in them.